Hello friends, it's Lily again, um, and I'm here with another lesson on just when you have big feelings, how to calm down when your feelings are too big. Last time we read a story called Sophie is a Star. And in the story, Sophie learned how to take a star breath to calm down her big sad feelings. Today, we are going to read another story about Sophie. In this story, Sophie will have big mad feelings and she will use a star breath to calm down and make her mad feelings smaller. When we are done with the story, we'll also learn a new way to take a deep breath. Here we go with the story. Sophie Rants and Raves by Dr. Becky Bailey. Sophie is having so much fun at the park, walking back and forth, back and forth. Mommy says, one more minute and then it is time to leave. Sophie stomps her feet and shouts, no, 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 no. Sophie doesn't want to go. Mommy takes a deep belly breath. Your feet are going like this. Your face is going like this. Sophie looks at mom and mom takes another breath. You seem angry. You wanted to play longer. Sophie says, no, 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 no. Mommy bends down and calmly says, you can handle this. Take a star breath, smile, take a deep breath, and then relax. Mommy holds Sophie close, taking one deep star breath after another. At first, Sophie is angry, but then she begins to calm down and breathe too. Mommy says, you did it. You calmed down. It is time to leave. You have a choice. You can hold my hand or I can carry you, which is better for you. Sophie squeezes her mommy tight. Mom reaches out. You want me to carry you. Mommy carries Sophie and they leave the park together. Sophie waves, bye-bye park. All right, friends. So today's story, Sophie had big, mad feelings because she did not want to leave the park. Mommy helped her by taking some star breaths with Sophie until she felt better. We are going to learn another way to take a deep breath today. Another way to take a deep breath is called a balloon breath. First, I'm going to show you what it looks like when our balloon is filled with air. So here I have my balloon and I'm gonna blow it up to show you. When our balloon is full of air, it's round and big, just like this. And then when we let the air out of the balloon, it goes like this. I'll show you one more time. The balloon is gonna blow up. The balloon is blown up. And then we're gonna let the air out of the balloon. Now we are going to make a balloon with our hands. This is how we do our balloon breath. Take your hands and put them on top of your head. Top of your head. We're going to take a deep breath in and blow up our balloon. Breathe in. And then we're gonna let the air out of our balloon and breathe out. Again, take a deep breath in. 
And then let the air out and breathe out. Last time, deep breath in like you're smelling a flower. And then breathe it out. Good job, friends, you did it. We have learned two ways to take a deep breath to help calm down when we have big feelings. First breath we learned was the star breath where we will stop, smile, take a deep breath and relax like we're blowing out a candle. Again, the star breath, we're going to stop and smile. Take a deep breath like we're smelling a flower. Then blow it out and relax. And then today we learned our balloon breath. So we're going to put our hands on our head and blow up our balloon and let the air out and blow it all out. Good job, friends. Remember, when your feelings are too big, you can take a star breath or a balloon breath. Next time, we will learn a new way to breathe. Have a great week.